and happy Monday. Today is November the 4th. How was your weekend? My weekend was good. I ain't do absolutely nothing. Well, my daughter had a Veterans Day parade. Other than that, it was nothing. But I only have three days with kids this, today, this week. And so um, we have, in our district, we do two mandatory PD days, which means you have to take a PD. You just can't come to school on a teacher planning day. So I have made the executive de decision for myself that I am going to do my virtual PD at my house. So I had came early this morning to make sure I ran all my copies. And I'm gonna tell you about the copies. And the lady told me, the secretary, she was like, oh, cause we can't, girl, we can't make copies. I do, I don't care. So I make my copies, my clerk is like, make copies for me. I make copies all the time. But the reason I make copies too is because I need access to the copy machine because I'm the gifted liaison. So I can't earn. She was like, oh, from now on, you got to re get approval from the principal. So then what am I approving the copies for as a grade level chair? But that's fine. And she said, and then you need your own paper. Then I guess you bringing me a case of paper because that paper ain't coming out of my stash. Child, please. Anyway. So I'm going to show you my sub plans. I'm going to show you all the copies that I made because I do not allow subs to teach my kids. I don't want you teaching my kid because you're going to give them the answers. Uh, -uh. So they just have review paperwork. Oh, I was supposed to put fish in the fish tank. I'll figure it out how I want to do this. But yes, so I am walking around. I'm going to cut on all my lights and then I'm going to show you my sub plan. So just hold on a moment. Here you go. Here are my sub plans. So this one has my schedule. It has what they're going to do. It has how everybody gets home on the second page and it has our emergency evacuation plans. This one is a seating chart. They're going to, this is my classroom management system when I'm not there. If they are disruptive or anything, you're going to highlight it, whatever you're gonna do, you're gonna let me know. And, and I put the layout of my room so they know where this kid is sitting and everyone should be in their seat. I make copies. Um, nothing is in the book. So for reading, we're doing poetry, and that's all these copies. And I just made the master copy. They're doing, it says, test. It's not really a test. I am going to grade some of these pages so they know that they need to take it seriously. This is for math. We're doing area. For, hold on. for social studies, we're doing an article on voting. For writing, we're doing context clues and plural nouns. That's what's in here. And then for science, we're doing, it's reading. Everything is still reading based because I need them to read as much as possible. But it's about cooking. It's full of delicious science lessons. Is how you learn science through cooking. And that's what they're doing. I'll check in with you at dismissal to show you how I leave my room, how I hide my stuff so my kids don't touch it. Kids gonna be kids, they're going to be curious. The stuff that I really, really don't want them to touch, like my treasure chest, my candy treasure chest, my gumball machines, things like those. I do hide those. I hide my iPads. All the stuff that belongs to me that is of value, I will put away. My library, they know not to touch it because I take a picture while they are here of what my books look like, which means you better not touch my books. But I will check in with you later. Okay, my kids are at PE. No, I'm lying. They have music. So this is how I'm leaving my desk. And that's all of my sub my stuff in order. And the top sheet are the sub plans. The back sheet is the seating chart. And this is what my area looks like for my sub, my room. This stuff, my kids, I have students are out. That's what's on their desk. And then they have their container in the middle. All right, I will see you guys on Thursday. Good morning and happy Thursday. Today is November the 7th and I have so much to tell you. I have to tell you about my sub from hell. I want to tell you when my kids go to dismissal and then that way um, I have all the exact correct tea. But when I tell you this, you're gonna be like, what? She was the sub from hell. But I, my PD ended up being the same thing I did at home. So I ended up leaving early. I came back to the school and I did gifted paperwork. So my students didn't know I was here, nor the sub. And then I opened the door and they were off task. 
But when I came back the second time, you heard a mouse pee on cotton because it was so quiet up in here and they were working independently. So today we are going to do a math lesson and then whatever they are, they didn't finish yesterday because she didn't collect the work. They're going to finish today and they're gonna take for homework because all that stuff was for a grade. Um, what else happened today? Nothing, this morning nothing happened, but I have two more days. <laughs> that was the bell. Saturday, um, my daughter and I are doing a day trip with Miss Case. Um, we're going to Philadelphia for one day, five o'clock in the morning, come back 10 o'clock at night. So we're doing a day trip. She's in civics. So that way she gets to see all the historical historical landmarks that are in Philadelphia. So, you know, she can, when she has background knowledge, when she's learning all these things about the government, and then maybe mo hopefully we'll do a day trip or a weekend trip to Washington, D.C., and we can take her to the White House. But that is the only thing today. They have a reading quiz. They also have, they have a reading quiz. They're gonna catch up on their work from yesterday and then they have a math lesson and then I have planning at the end of the day and then I am going to tell you about this lady. But I will check in with you later. I forgot to tell you, when I explain about my sub from hell, you'll see why these rocks are out here. But I got two new fish. This is one and another one is somewhere. I don't know where he is. We don't know where it's at, but it's an, oh, he's back there. You see him? So I have this one and then I have this one and I have a snail that's on the back of this house. So let me see if you can see him. Hold on. I saw him. Did he move that fast? Girl, that snail be going. I don't even know where he went, but I just saw him. I guess he, I cut the light on and he went somewhere else, but he hides in the house. So I have these two fish. We hope that they say I need to put water in the tank after I clean the rocks and put them in. But I will give you details on why my fish tank looks like this when I take my kids, take drop my kids off to PE today. It's dismissal time and my kids are at PE. Um, my coworker took them for me. She said she needed the exercise, so she wanted to walk and she took them for me. But today was a good day. They were a little chatty and that always happens after you were going for a day, even though I was here, but still. They had a sub, and I'm not her. And it's just going to take adjustment. So I will guess on. But I got them together. Oh, I'm putting lotion on. Um, I got them together. But I did. Um, they, they did a quiz today. They didn't do too good. But tomorrow is their test. It's about poetry. I went over the quiz to show them what they were doing wrong before I graded it. I had them back their paper. And they decided not to make the corrections. And I'm going to decide to put that in the grade book. Um, but let me tell you what happened. So when I first, I left my PD, I was scheduled to be off. So it was the same PD that I did at home. It was there. And I'm quite sure I said this already, but I have to give you what happened. So then I walked through the door. She is sitting at my desk eating a big ass bag of chips. I'm going to insert a picture of because the stuff that she put in my garbage. So, is it on my face? The bag of chips are right here that she put in the garbage and there's a salad in there too. She was eating a bag of chips and drink a soda. I caught her midstream. So she had the thing in her mouth like this and she was drinking. And I walked through and I had a kid standing at my desk with her. My sub plans, I'm gonna go over what my sub plan says. My sub, I am, you know, I just like people to treat my room the way I treat my room so my kids know. So my sub plans, I don't know what it says verbatim, but oh, I could tell you because it's on the computer. I emailed my principal and I can tell you exactly what my substitute plans say. So on the bottom, it says, Rules and procedures. It says students are not allowed to get out of their seats without permission. He was out of his seat. They are not allowed to come near my desk or touch any of my decorations. He was near my desk. Do not touch iPads or tablets. Are not allowed to walk on my rugs. Are not allowed to touch my library books. 
are not allowed to touch my book buddy's stuffed animals. No pencil sharpening. There are sharpened pencils in the front and they need to put the pencils back. They are not allowed to touch the computers. No eating in class. Do not feed my fish in caps. So when I walked through the door, I looked at the Promethean board and Gracie's corner was, I guess a video had been played. <laughs> All my lesson plans said what they were doing and it says students work independently. So there was no reason that boy, he should have been helping him with his work. So I made everything for a grade since you didn't do my work. But anyway, so that I noticed that I don't eat in front of my kids. I don't, and if you choose to eat as a teacher, that's your business. I don't eat in front of my kids, even when they have a snack time, I don't eat in front of my kids. And the reason I don't eat in front of my kids is because during snack time, everybody doesn't have a snack. Why am I eating a snack? I can't eat in front of a child. I just can't do it if I don't have enough to give to everybody. If we're having a party, I eat in front of kids. If I buy donuts, I still want to eat in front of kids. It's just me. I just don't eat in front of my kids. I the only thing I do is drink water or whatever. It's in my water bottle. So she did that. And then I left. I told my kids knew I was in the building. I told her that I'm here. If she need anything, let me know. I gave her my cell phone number. God works in mysterious ways. Oh. Oh, I set the timer for 40 because, oh, I went and bought fish. So I bought fish. So when she came in, I put the fish inside the fish tank so they can get used to the temperature of the water. And I set a timer on my phone for 45 minutes. By the time I was gone, my kids were already at lunch. Nobody was in the room. It was just me. So I released the fish and I went about my business and I started doing my gifted paperwork. So I was in other classrooms, um, getting all the names and everything. And then a lady from the office saw me and she was like, hey, I have honor roll invitations that you need for your students. So then I was like, okay, I went upstairs. And then I came in here and everybody was quiet. Everybody was doing their work independently. And I had one sitting at my back table and I asked him why was he sitting there? He said, because he was talking. And I said, okay. And then I went to cut my fish light on. And when I looked at the fish tank and I was like, what is this in the bottom of my tank? And then I'm looking and it's food. And then I said, who fed my fish, right? And then I, and all the kids looked at her. And then I said, you overfed my fish. And then that's when I caught myself because she was about to get mollified. When I tell you I don't play by my stuff, and it's the fact that you, so I immediately, I just got the fish. When I bought the fish, they told me they fed them breakfast already. So I knew not to feed the fish. So then I immediately got the fish net and I got bowls and I started scooping the gravel out because it was so much fish food on, oh, when I said you, oh, she was like, no, I didn't. When I said you overfed my fish. So then I'm scooping the gravel out. That's why you saw the two bowls. I'm scooping it out so I could get the fish food out so they don't eat the fish. I mean, eat the food. And so then I immediately go to my principal. And then she, was, she saw my face and she was like, close the door. And then that's when I started venting and telling her, this lady touched my stuff. I just paid for them fish. And she's already, and I just started saying everything that she's been doing. And I said, I don't want her to suffer for me anymore. So then... I put it in writing because, and this though, it's not gonna stop there because you're not finna, oh, they, oh, to get the fish food, you had to open all my drawers to find the food. Cause how did you know where the food was at? Remember, everything in my room is put away. So you had to open all my drawers, all my cabinets to put it to, um, to find the fish food. So then um, I was pissed off and then I was 30, I told, I was like, I was so angry. Cause the thing is I wanted to curse her out. But I can, I have, at the end of the day, I'm a professional. I can, when I saw myself going there, I immediately removed myself from the situation. And then my principal spoke to her, um, you know, she let her go. Um, we don't tolerate whatever. Like she, they, oh, then the kids, she like, oh, the kids told me they have pee at 120. And then I said, they do. It's in my sub plan. She was like, I don't see it. And I said, flip the pages at the top. And I'm already ticked off about my fish. So then um, when my principal confronted her, she said, my kids fit the fish. Let me explain something to you. 
when I tell you my kids are trained, my kids won't sharpen a pencil, my kids won't touch my library. Remember, we had this whole thing before at the beginning of the year. They already know who I am. They don't touch my stuff. My kids don't even walk on my carpets with their shoes on. So you think that they gonna go search my stuff? And then my principals just looked at her and she just said, well, you can't come back. So she's terminated from coming to my school. She's regularly in school, she wants to, but she can't come here. And then when I came to work, when I was looking through the window, I seen a figure and I said, why is this girl at my desk? Why is she back? Like I'm here. And then I immediately called my principal because Mala was gonna come out and I said, let me tell you something. I said, I was going to go, she didn't pick up her phone, I was going to go get her from the cafeteria and said, why is this girl in my room again? And so then, um, and remember I have condensation on my door so I can't see clearly. Did I take a picture? I think I took a picture. Oh, I'm gonna take a picture of how she, you saw in the video how I left my desk and I wanted to send you a picture. I'm gonna post the picture right now of how she left my desk. She didn't buy no clip, none of my stuff together. She did not collect the work. My kids literally did nothing. So all that work they got, they gonna take it all home and they have to do it by Tuesday. If I don't get it back, you got an F. I, I don't got time for it. Anyway, so <clears throat> the AP comes and she opened my room door. She was like, this not the same lady. When I tell you, we got three in the building. Her yesterday, we got one. When I tell you, same size, same everything. And they all wear black, so I don't know if that's what they have to wear because they're sub, but they all have them on black. And then she was like, that's not the same lady. I said, because you, I was going to drag around my room. And then, and then my principal was like, she saw me. She was like, I am so proud of you for thinking <laughs> before reacting because I was already like, you, two days are you here? And I was like, what is she doing in my room? And the lady, she was like, no, I'm not her. I would never touch your stuff. I was looking because your room is so pretty. It's like the prettiest room I ever seen. I was like, thank you. Then my coworker, Miss Case, the, the reading coach, saw her. And then she's subbing. They ended up finding her another position. So she was subbing second grade. And then they second grade had a field trip. She was like, no, I don't want her on a field trip with me because she the one that was touching, bothered Miss Francois Fish. And I was, then the AP had to apologize to the other lady. She was like, it's not the same lady. When I tell you, and then my coworker kept sending me pictures. She's like, is this the lady? I'm like, it's three of them. We don't know what they look like. But it's funny because they all the same size, like chunky and tall. All three of these ladies. And I was like, wow, this is weird. But that is what happened with the worst sub ever. This has never happened to me. And this the fact. Who would... You didn't even read first when you read my lesson. But why would you go through somebody's stuff? So then my kid said, because I told him, I said, look, before, I said, you're not in trouble. I said, at the end of the day, it's an adult in the building. I just want to know, did you feed my fish? And then they was like, no, she fed the fish. I said, well, she told the principal... Y'all fed the fish. They was like, no. She said that since we don't had lunch, they gonna have lunch. And then the, one of my students said, I told her not to feed the fish. I'm telling you, when I tell you my kids trained, they was like, I told her not to feed the fish. And then I was like, who told her to put on this veggie, this whatever veggie, Grace's corn or whatever. They was like, I don't know. She did that by herself. When I tell you the worst sub I have ever had in eight years. And I was like, these people, you had one job. All you had to do, all my work says, all you had to do was at, say, 8.35, pass out a packet. 10.35, collect that packet, pass out another packet. All it was was busy work. And you could get, oh, and she had a personal computer up here on whatever YouTube, whatever she was. She was logging into this computer over here. And I just said, you just sitting up there eating in front of these kids. I was like, absolutely not. But that's what happened um, to uh, yesterday. And I wanted to tell y'all, I said, I can't wait till I tell these people about this. And normally I have good subs. I have subs that like either teach a lesson or don't teach a lesson, but they got good classroom management. And my kids know the rules. They know not. And good 
I, let me tell you what I did. Something told me, take all your stuff and hide it. So I took my gumball machine. I took my kid's snack box, my treasure chest, all that stuff. My candy treasure chest. I took all that stuff to my coworker's room. Because I said, man, I don't know this. Uh, they probably, uh, she probably eat my stuff and go through all my kids' stuff. I took my iPads. I took everything so that my kids would not get in trouble. And my kids knew not to touch my stuff. I, she ain't listen to them. They tried to warn her. My teacher crazy, don't touch her stuff. She touched all my stuff, so now she got to, if this school was close to her house, she got to find another one, because she can't come back here, because all my coworkers like, I don't want her. We had a whole faculty meeting. If them subs are not doing what they're supposed to do, please let me know so we can put them on our do not return list, and she cannot return. So that's what happened. I will see you guys tomorrow, which is Friday. Can you believe I made it? I still haven't called out yet. I'm going to end with these 10 days, I think. I don't have no vacations planned that I can think of. If I do, it's going to be during spring break or winter break or some break. Because I am going to... I signed up to teach Saturday school. Did I tell you? Oh, I didn't tell you I visit kindergarten. Absolutely not. I don't know it's because my coworker likes classroom management. But no, look at my people coming. Yes. Look at Miss Case coming through the door. Who is that? My YouTube people, say hello. Hey y'all. Y'all want to see what she look like? Well, y'all already saw her. Do you look good today? Uh uh. You see, she no, do this all the time. <laughs> but I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye. Good morning and happy Friday. I made it. <laughs> I made it. I'm so excited. But today is the eighth, I think, based on the dates that my kids put. It is the eighth. Today, my kids are testing and reading. I bought them donuts. I bought them donuts. I have to move a student because he's been bothering another student. And we don't play like that. So my principal told me to move him. So I have to make sure he goes downstairs. I'm trying to find my clicker. I need to hurry up before the maintenance people come in to change the AC. Oh to change the AC filters in my room, but today is haircut day, that's why you see that. And that is it, in math, I am still doing area or multiplying by two digits. And then, so today I am going to, let me tell you the agenda. I'm going to do a day in the life next week instead of a weekly vlog, so you can see what I do from top to bottom. We'll be starting a new unit, things like that. You'll see everything I come with on probably Tuesday, but we are doing in math, we are doing area, or most applying, I forgot which one it is. And then reading, we're taking a test. So I'm going to do the math lesson, let them take a test. Then for science, we have to finish the last round of slime. So I'm going to let them slime. I'm sending little dude to another classroom because he's not allowed to participate. And then they have, they're gonna catch up on their already minutes. We're gonna play quizzes, Kahoot and things like that. So today is a fun Friday. I'm gonna let them play with my stem bins. And then that is going to be it for today. I will check in with you while my kids go to dismissal. Well, while they're at art today, while they're at art. And then I will let you know how our day goes. All right, I'll talk to you later. I have been giving you an update on the fish. They are still alive. I'm going to clean the rocks today to put them back. But this is the snail that I wanted to show you. I'm going to name him Gary, but my kids today are going to vote on the names of Mike and Molly, <laughs> Millie Vanilli, Ike and Tina. I don't, we don't know what they're going to be, but, and I don't know if they're male or female, but they're going to vote today on these two little guys. I think I like this size fish. Um, I think I want to get some more of those, but he is over there. He's, we'll see what his name is. So I'll check in when I pick them up. We'll vote and then I'll tell you what their names is and I'm going to clean these rocks while they're testing. I got this was two years ago. You that? Yes. Okay, I am back. Um, Today was an eventful day. Majority of my kids, well, I'm lying, not majority of them. Most of my kids or quite a few of them passed the reading test. For math, Yay! we did. <laughs> That's Miss Case. Say hello. No. See? They can't really see. But I just came to close out the vlog. 
I want to thank you so much for subscribing to my channel. If you are new, my name is Mala. I teach third grade and I am in South Florida. I would love to have you join my family, but I will see you next week on next week's vlog. Bye guys. Bye.